Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Canuck Stream with me, Dave, your host, the Tech Canuck. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the last video I actually put up on YouTube today and uh, Facebook yesterday on my new Facebook page. Please feel free to join, like and subscribe on YouTube as well if you'd like. I will have a website up in the next month or two with an email address if you'd like to contact me, you know, ask me questions. Um, you know, also suggest different things that I can feature or do on my channel. Um, today, however, I think uh, one of the biggest things is I've promised a review for a uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I'm going to give you that review. Just a quick review. I've been using this phone, which is a fingerprint magnet, by the way, as soon as you see. I've been using this phone now for... Hmm, close to two months since it's been out and uh yeah pretty neat phone uh i will give it props the camera on this phone is by far one of the greatest things i've ever used um the 8k is a little touch and go but the 4k on it is incredible um <clears throat> one of my biggest gripes about this phone is the in-screen fingerprint reader please samsung if you ever come across my video, I doubt you ever will, but if you do, please stop putting them in under the screen. I know it's a cool technology, but it's not proven, obviously, because it takes me sometimes three to four to five attempts to get into my phone like it just took me three. Uh, I know it's, um, it's, it's, it's a work in progress, right? We're basically the beta testers. Uh, another big gripe about the screen is from, you know... 120 hertz to 60 hertz, but I can only have the 120 hertz if I'm not under uh, the ultra high def. I have to be under full high def. Give us the option. You know, um, this really should be what we want to do, how we want to do it. Yeah, we'll lose battery capacity with the 5,000, I think, or 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It's one of the two. Don't quote me on it. But I know we will lose a lot of battery by putting it literally at 1440p while having it at 120 hz refresh rate but i'm willing to sacrifice battery in order to have that screen with that great motion now you guys can't see it on camera because it's only running at 30 hertz my camera i will be upgrading my camera within the next couple months as well but take into account this screen is probably one of the best screens on the market right now there is a problem with this phone though and i've noticed it pop up online a lot it has to do with this rear camera lens right here okay note to anyone who's buying this be prepared there's a chance it's a small chance but there's still a chance that that camera lens explodes on you for no apparent reason uh, apparently it has to do with the optical zoom lens if you shake the phone you can hear it rattling <clears throat> well <clears throat> it is a new style of camera, so you can't really get mad at them for it. Um, I guess in the long run, uh, what can I say but good job to Samsung. Yes, it has a few flaws. Um, a couple other gripes, you know, no headphone jack. Okay, I got these. They gave me these with it. They're the uh, Galaxy Buds Plus. Awesome little set of headphones. I'm happy. Not everyone got them, but I did receive them with the phone. Um, but an overall, would I recommend people to buy this phone? If you are a camera person, uh, uh, what do you call it? I, 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 an enthusiast, I guess you could say, for videos and cameras and photos. This has a decent camera lens on it. This has a decent photo lens on it. It has a hundred times zoom. Mind you, it's not very usable. I will admit that anything past 20 to 30 times starts to get blurry, but that's with any photo lens zoom. Um, would I recommend it? it? I give it a 7.5 to an eight out of 10. It's a beautiful phone. Um, my only other gripe is, you know, I like that you guys got rid of the Bixby button, but honestly, not being able to turn off your phone with this button, there should be an option. I'm not sure if there is, don't quote me on it, but so far I haven't found an option to hold down this button and allow me to use it as a power button. If anyone out there knows how to do this or it is possible, 
put it in the comments below or comment on my video on Facebook, please let me know because that is, I hate Bixby. I honestly could care less about Bixby. I use the Google Assistant. I just want my power button. If I hold it down like I do here, you'll notice that it says, you know, cannot start Bixby. Watch, there we go, see? Um, honestly, I just wanna be able to turn my phone off completely, like power down or restart or whatever I need to do. Uh, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, leave me any remark you want. Uh, I'm up for criticism. I want to optimize my streams as best I can for the viewer. Uh, I don't want to beat around the bush. I just want to let you guys know, though, I will have more of these coming out this week. Uh, I do plan on doing a review of my Yeti microphone that I'm using currently for this actual recording. I'll show you. See, here it is. Beautiful, beautiful microphone. It has its gripes, just like everything else. But personally, um, you know, I think it's a great microphone. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free, ask me, and I will try and respond. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today, Dave at Tech Canucks. Have yourselves a great day.